The Idaho Farm Bureau Federation is a safety net for farmers. From Paris to Payette, from Murphy to Moscow. This great organization has helped farmers and ranchers for seven decades through drought, depressions, and water rights disputes. Our members stood up to the challenges, writing resolutions that became policies that became laws that shaped Idaho agriculture. Not once or twice, but thousands of times through the decades, and a few resolutions became American Farm Bureau policy, and even federal law. And that's not all. We fought water right cases in the courts, in the state house, in the counties and communities to keep that water flowing to the farm. And along the way, we have become known as the voice of Idaho agriculture for the sole purpose of letting farmers farm. Farm Bureau was formed in 1939 by Farmers for Farmers, a nonprofit organization. At the, the time that they began, back then, they were individually organized. They're individually autonomous. They are, that is, they are uh, self-sustaining units of their own, and they are chartered by the Idaho Farm Bureau. So they're responsible to themselves, but they also have, there's an also an, an element of responsibility to the Idaho Farm Bureau. The Idaho Farm Bureau Federation is part of the American Farm Bureau Federation. And that gives us an excellent source of resources at both the local and national level because the American Farm Bureau Federation has uh, lobbyists and a staff of experts on various subjects in Washington, D.C. and contacts with our congressmen there. And then at the state level, the Idaho Farm Bureau Federation has a staff in Boise that works with the uh, legislators and the governor. Farm Bureau is more than insurance. It's people, volunteer people, that make it up as a federation, and they also work to encourage the industry as natural in natural resource industry, just not farmers, but also logging and forestry and mining. Well, during the Depression, it was hard for farmers to get insurance. They were considered high risk, and if they could get insurance, uh, it would cost them a lot of money. So as a result of that, the Idaho Farm Bureau Federation, along with other state farm bureaus, went out and, and sold stock and, and started their own insurance company because they knew that the farmers were a good risk. And from that, it became a service to member program. And uh, it's been a successful program since then. And then in 1956, we changed from a stock company to a mutual company so that the policyholders now own the company and they're the ones that have the say in how their company is run. On our ranch, we're, we're always looking at the, the problems that we face in our everyday lives, the, the problems that, that come up in what we're doing. And some of the goals that we have is to write resolutions and, and to help form legislations that's gonna benefit us as ranchers. Farm Bureau is a great organization dealing with helping the producers, and the communities with the rules and regulations that come from the federal government and the state that make life difficult and have no common sense behind them. It's this grassroots politics that makes it so great. It is, starts at the county level, goes from the county level to the district level, from the district level it goes to the state level. And if it's not what we want or what we desire and if somebody else is trying to put it in there, it's not going to make it in the book. The state does not endorse candidates. Being a nonprofit organization, we work with the counties and give them training on how to investigate their local candidates and how to surface good people. The Federation collects dues, and then each county has, pays into these dues. But the counties have their own board of directors, and they have their own rules and bylaws that they follow that are going to be important in their own areas the problems and the policies and the actions that are going on in their own counties. And the dues that we do pay are a small benefit to the, the great resource we get out of it.
the board members generate their income from production in agriculture. And the County Farm Bureau is the governing body of, of Farm Bureau and is accountable to their membership. Our policies are definitely grassroots policies. They come from the County Farm Bureaus, uh, from the communities. These policies are then hashed over with in the districts. Uh, and then it comes on, if it passes the county and the district, then it comes on to the state House of Delegates, where two representatives from each county discuss these policies. And if this happens to be a policy that affects a, a national issue, then it's passed on to the American Farm Bureau, and it goes through the same uh, process through the American. And uh, a lot of these become law. Here in Idaho, the House of Delegates meets every December. Here's a report from the 2009 session. Welcome to day two of Idaho Farm Bureau's 70th annual meeting held here in Idaho Falls. Behind me, House of Delegates is in session. This is truly a grassroots operation. I don't think there's anything better than the uh, Farm Bureau for listening to the people that's, that's doing all the work. They have all the issues rather than being regulated from the top down. And so as we, we have this procedure, there's very, very few, if any, organizations that will listen uh, from the bottom and come up. So everybody has a voice and a say, and, and they come, and if it's something everybody agrees on, then we carry that through, and there's nothing better. The policy that is developed in here is respected through the legislatures because they understand how our organization, the Farm Bureau, produces the policy, that it comes from the members, it is voted on by the members, and the leadership only administers and delivers what the members want. From Idaho Falls, this is Jake Putnam reporting. It's more than a political organization. It has a great deal of strength, uh, but it, it's composed of groups that assists farmers, uh, promotes uh, the public good in many ways. It consists of uh, groups such as a women's organization, uh, young farmers and ranchers. These groups are very important to the organization and very important, important to the community. Your agriculture, most people think farming. The YFNR program in the Farm Bureau is a, a group made up of individuals between the ages of 18 and 35. And with that group, we are able to take those individuals and put them in situations to, number one, help them better themselves in leadership skills. Um, through different activities such as discussion meet, where they can sit down and, and discuss and develop those leadership skills. <laughs> and one of the great things about the wife in our program is that you come together as a collective group and you develop long-lasting friendships because you're based upon the same ideals, the same you have the same goals in mind in agriculture and you all want to see each other succeed. So these are for the senators. These are for the House of Representatives. The Women's Leadership Committee is effectively working in all aspects of Farm Bureau. We are training leaders. We have speech contests. We do Ronald McDonald House, make donations there. We are uh, actively involved in political aspects of Farm Bureau and speak up for agriculture whenever we can. The Idaho Farm Bureau Commodities Division, they help us uh, farmers, Idaho farmers, uh, market their commodities, whether it's wheat, potatoes, cattle, whatever it is, they help with the marketing problems and they help farmers and ranchers with programs to, to market that stuff. The member relations managers work with the different individual county farm bureaus to help implement the farm bureau programs. They also um, help the county farm bureaus find and surface new, new people to help work within the farm bureau. And sometimes I think that's the hardest job for the county farm bureaus is to find the new people to come and, and help continue to grow our organization. And so the member relations managers really help us do our job. Farm Bureau Benefits is always looking for a way to help members save their money. And they do this through a program where you can receive discounts um, through many and varied ways, um, such as paint discounts, hotel discounts, theme park discounts, and so forth. The Public Affairs Division takes our policy 
and represents us at the state house. And then that's the voice of Idaho agriculture that takes it all the way to U.S. Congress. Right now, the Public Relations Division has been very active. If you've ever seen them on Facebook, uh, YouTube, or blogger message, Farm Bureau Public Relations staff has been very, very active in getting a message out there of Idaho and its agriculture families. The Public Relations staff also produces the quarterly producer and a morning radio show across the state. So they're getting their message out there to the masses, not just in agriculture, but to all peoples of Idaho. Where's the Farm Bureau headed in the future? We'll be in the courts, the State House, and Capitol Hill. We'll be there when you log on to your computer and long after you've gone. You'll see us at annual meetings, county board meetings, resolution meetings, and wherever farm policy is debated, because we are the voice of Idaho agriculture. Idaho Farm Bureau. We were there in bad times. We will be there in the future, helping farmers continue to farm in a changing, uncertain world. <laughs>